Thank you for watching videos by Jeff Sibelius and FamilyTravelPhotos.com. This episode demonstrates three ways to return your unique drone from long distances without using smart mode. This episode is part of a series of videos designed to help you fly the unique drone. This episode applies to all types of unique aircraft. Let's get started with returning your drone from long distances. You want your drone to come home. Your drone wants to come home too. Really? But sometimes it can be hard to figure out just how to make that happen. Most new pilots fly in smart mode because it's easier to recognize the direction of flight. In smart mode, the drone's controls are constant no matter which way the drone is faced. When you're in angle mode, the aircraft is controlled based on the way the aircraft is pointed. This is also referred to as its orientation. It's easy to see the direction your aircraft is facing in angle mode when it's close, like this. You can still tell its direction when it's here. But what about here? Or here? Which way do you fly to return home? Since angle mode is based on the aircraft orientation, it can be tricky to control your aircraft when it's flying far away, because it can be tough to see which way the drone is pointed. Here are three ways you can overcome that issue while in angle mode. The first way to return your aircraft is to switch to home mode. Simply change the flight mode switch to home. The aircraft will return to the approximate location where you hit the switch and land itself. Home mode should not be your first choice. The aircraft doesn't land exactly where you expect it, so it could come down on top of a bush, a car, a curb, who knows what. The auto landings can also be a bit bouncy. So when should you use home mode? Here's a recent situation I experienced. I flew most of my battery with no problem. Suddenly, at an altitude of 265 feet, the wind kicked up and began spinning and dragging my aircraft. I tried to counteract, but then lost consistent video signal. I looked down at my screen, then looked back up and realized I couldn't see the aircraft in the sky. With the wind spinning my aircraft, no video sync, and no view of the aircraft, I had no way to determine which way it was heading. And I couldn't reduce my altitude because there were tall obstacles in the area time for home mode. I switched to home mode and the aircraft returned to my position. Home mode should be used for emergency situations like this. You're better off learning how to manage the drone's landing yourself in normal situations. Why? Because if you lose GPS connection, home mode won't work and smart mode won't work. You'll have to bring the aircraft back and land it on your own. The second way to return your aircraft in angle mode is to use the green arrow on your screen. The green arrow always points back to the transmitter. Look at this example. The aircraft is hovering in space and will pretend that we can't see which way it's facing. On the transmitter screen you can see a green arrow pointing down and to the right. All you have to do is move your right stick in the direction the arrow is pointing. See? I pull the stick in the direction of the arrow and the aircraft flies right back to me. I like using the green arrow as a way to bring my drone back safely in angle mode, but it has the same limitation as hitting the home switch. If you lose your GPS connection, you won't have that arrow to help you navigate. The third way to return your aircraft is a reliable method for returning your drone whether or not you have GPS signal. Here's our drone hovering down the field in angle mode. We'll pretend we can't see which way it's pointing and that we don't have our green arrow. So how do we bring it back? Start by pushing the right stick forward so the aircraft flies in the direction it's pointing. Here we see the aircraft is flying to the right. Now we know it's pointed somewhere to the right. Now, all we have to do is use the left stick to rotate the drone as it flies forward. It was flying right, so we rotate it right. The drone will rotate back towards you. Ultimately, it will not appear to be going to the right anymore. Now you know the drone is pointing right back at you and you can push the right stick forward to bring it back. 
Let's do it again. Push the right stick forward. Now it goes left. I move the left stick to the left this time as it flies forward. When the drone no longer appears to be flying left, you know it's pointing back at you and it's easy to fly it right back. This technique takes considerable airspace for your drone to circle around. If you don't have the space or you want to slow the process down, you can perform this technique in steps. Push the right stick forward and the drone flies to the right. Let go of the right stick and rotate a little to the right with your left stick. Now push the right stick forward again. Still going right. Stop going forward, rotate to the right. Repeat this until the drone no longer appears to be going to the side. Now you can fly it back easily. Ah, but what happens if you push the drone forward and it doesn't go left or right? How can you tell if it's going away from you or towards you? Use the same process. If you push the right stick forward and you don't see a direction change, rotate to the right. If the drone flies to the right, it's faced away from you. Just continue to rotate until the drone is no longer flying to the side. Now it's pointed back at you. If you rotate it to the right and it flies to the left, you know the drone is already facing you. Just straighten it out and fly it right back by pushing the right stick forward. This technique works whether you have GPS connection or not. Using the home switch or the green arrow will normally work for you, but you should practice this third technique as well. Practice it with the aircraft close to you to learn it. Not only will you be prepared to return your drone manually if necessary, you'll become a better pilot overall. This concludes this episode of my video series for unique Q500 and Typhoon H owners. I posted links to other tutorial videos here. Be sure to watch those to learn more about flying your unique drone. Please help me by hitting the like button below. That's how you can help my channel grow so I can make more videos like this for you. It also helps if you subscribe and you'll be notified when I release more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.